Thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you, Dr. Francie, for inviting me and everybody that has participated in preparing this ceremony for tonight. From uh, Martin Luther King, I like to quote a phrase that says, never, never be afraid to do what's right, especially if the well-being of a person or an animal is at stake. Society's punishments are small compared to the wounds that we inflict in our soul when we look the other way. I am a trans man, and as such, tonight I'm here to honor, to remember, and to never forget my trans brothers and sisters who have paid the ultimate price just for being true to themselves, just for being true to their being, who want it only but acceptance, who want it only but recognition, who want it also only to be one in among the many. And instead, they were found to be discriminated, they were found to be ashamed, they were found to be abused, and finally, they were killed. Instead of the acceptance, the understanding, and the honoring that was necessary and needed. I have found a place of acceptance in this town, in Sacramento. I came here to pastor a church, and then the church closed. And then I was called to work with another church here in Sacramento, for which I am an associate pastor, a church for all MCC. And I have found that acceptance. That's what I want for everybody here. That's what I want for us to work with, to make this an accepting, safe, secure place for everybody that comes out with their true identity, with their true gender. What we know now, according to the information that I have found, on the trends of anti-transgender violence, say the 2011 GLSEN School Climate Survey of LGBTIA students, 80% of transgender students felt physically unsafe at school. Moreover, the National Coalition of Anti-Violence Programs states that up to 53% of anti-LGBTQ murders, according to the 2012 Hate Violence Report, consists of basically trans women. And I'm quoting this. This means that transgender women are brutalized more than transgender men, gay men, lesbian women, and bisexual people put together. There's no reason for this to exist. The question to ask ourselves is, how will this service be connected to the trans community here tonight in our area? There are wonderful resources here which were quoted already by Dr. Francie Milasso, the Sutter Gender Identity Support Group, to Ben Hudson and Rachel Hudson with the Gender Health Center, the Sacramento Transgender Coalition, PFLAG, and so many others, including churches, temples, synagogues, and just congregations of people. What can we do? We can work on education. We can work on keep educating ourselves first. And in the month, the moment comes to educate others as needed. And we need to work more on creating conscience, protecting our trans students in school, to be accepting of gender diversity in our churches, temples, 
synagogues, places of prayer, or just congregation. It is a matter of dignity to honor, to remember, and to never forget. To honor, to remember, and never forget. And I would like to echo the words of the seventh concept of Star Child, which says, being a person of diverse gender is not a curse, but a gift. I stand between, between worlds as a blessed one who out of my blessing blesses others simply by being my true self. We bless and we honor the ones we're going to mention tonight. Thank you.